な戦いでしたね一つ間違えば私の負けでしたあ五十嵐さんのより落ちましたよはいどうぞもう不要ですけどさやか目を覚ましなさいあなたの負けよ<笑>さ飛び降りて What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite chart analyst, back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the financial markets. And today, we will be taking a closer look at Casino Coin. And if you are new to this channel and you like what you see in here and feel compelled to sub, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications on future content. That being said, let's jump into today's list, starting off with the metrics and subscription, a subscriber shout out. Market overview and at number four, technical analysis on casino coin. So, today's scripture is 1 Corinthians 6 and 8, 618 through 20. So, I'm gonna go ahead and read it for you guys. <laughs> had an interesting night last night, but、uh, this one hit hard today. I'm gonna read what I said. This one hit hard today, especially running on three hours of sleep. I have not slept, you guys. I'm like tired right now. And being tempted by a fat booty, big breast chick last night. I will not go into details on that, but man, I, I was very tempted. If I didn't hear God's voice last night, I would have torn her to pieces. But I remember I made vows to God to remain celibate. And you guys, remaining celibate is not easy, especially when you live a life, when you are, you know, if you like, or if you have an addiction to sex, or if you, or, you know, if you're good at it. I'm just saying. But if you like sex and if you、uh, enjoy it, it's not an easy thing to give up. But I made vows to God that I will stay, remain celibate until you know, I get married, until I meet the woman of my dreams or whatever. Now, if I don't, then that's going to suck. But hey, I'm willing to you know, live that life.、Uh, living this lifestyle is hard when you are surrounded by gorgeous chicks or girls who want to throw it at you. LOL. I challenge you guys to live a celibate life. One year and 10 months strong. All right, so the, here we go. So, 1 Corinthians 6 18 through 20. It reads Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is not without the body, but he that committed fornication sinneth against his own body. What know ye not that your, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye, ye have, a, have of God? And ye are not your own, for ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So, that's the message that I wanted to share with you guys today. It was not easy, I tell you. <laughs> It was something else last night.、Um, a subscriber shout out goes to, let's see, Art Talamantes. I appreciate you, Art Talamantes. I hope you continue to follow this channel and be a subscriber and continue to support this channel. God bless you and continue to, you know, give me a thumbs up, share the videos, and like the content. All right. <laughs> God bless you.、Uh, so, today, you know, some of the market's green, some of the market's red, but we're not here for Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum, or any of those. We're here for Casino Coin today. So, it is down. Negative 0.78%, which is very interesting because usually when Bitcoin is going down, this casino coin is going up. And I believe today we're, we will see some upward momentum to the upside for this pair.、Uh, that being said, let's jump right into the technical analysis because it's pretty quick, it's pretty easy today, nothing too hard. So, what I do see that we have been trending up for the longest, even though we have crossed this trend line here, we're still bullish because we are still above this cloud. Until we break past this cloud, I will say we will be bearish, but until then, I don't see that. So, I expect prices to move up. k e j i n s e n is far away from price, so it's going to act as a magnet, bringing price probably back into this area.、Um, what I do see as well with this. Is we are holding pretty strongly here, and we might make a piercing line pattern, which is when the candle pierces the when it does a downtrend. And the last candle of this downtrend, which I, I'm assuming this one will be it, 
once this candle closes in the next two minutes, I believe, uh, this candle will close at least 50% piercing of the previous candle. So I'm expecting price to move up. Um, looking at it on the four hour time frame, which is what I want to share, we are making a wedge and it looks like price is already moving outside this wedge. So I'm expecting prices to start moving to the upside back into this blue zone here once we get back into this blue zone i'm hoping that it could break and go beyond this we may get up here and start ranging then move up looking at it on the one hour time frame you see it a little bit more clearly let's move this here there we go right there if you notice we are starting to form or getting closer to form a a kumo twist so that's going to show us this here, some type of action here where we see a purple cloud forming. So I'm expecting price to start moving to the upside. Uh, right here, it's saying that there's a bearish reversal candle. Um, I don't really see it. There's no engulfing candle, really. But if it does come down, it's probably going to come down to this bottom part of the cloud, which is the top of this wedge here. Probably touch it down here, then bounce to the upside and make its move to the upside. So my prediction is a bullish move to the upside from where we're at. Let's see, let's go back to the four hour so I could draw it, draw it on here. Let's see where we at. Long position. So I'm going long on this. Probably stop loss like down in here somewhere. Uh, let's see, target would probably be in this area right in here. That'll be a 70% move to the upside that I see. Um, that's what I'm expecting. Let me go ahead and save this because apparently this thing does not want to save your charts when you you know chart on this investing.com, which is very sickening to me because I have to reset my charts every single time just to you know, do anal analysis on this pair. So that being said, that's my prediction, a 17% move to the upside, taking us to about this number right here. So let me go ahead and highlight that for you guys, make it bigger so you can see it. And I'm gonna make it green. I wanna turn yellow, but, uh, let me, oh, it did. let me go ahead and do this again. There we go, right there. So this is my target right here. So, I'm assuming that says about 10 cents right there. Yeah, about 10 cents. So once it gets to about to that level, that's where I expect price to, you know, start, you know, slowing down. Now, if we do get above this cloud and it starts doing a Kumo twist on the four hour time frame, I'm expecting the price to explode to the upside. And if it does that, this is a possible move that we could get. Let me go ahead and draw this for you guys. Uh, this is going to be a little difficult right now. Let me see. So we can get this type of movement here. So we cut, you see this end wave. So we got that one leg move up to the upside here. Down right here. And then, let me go ahead and clone it. And then I move up to here. Hi. Oh, you're leaving? Yeah. Oh, come give me a hug, all right? They go to. That's my niece, you guys. So if y'all hear her, oh. <laughs> Hi. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> Shut my door, right? right? All right. So if we do get that move, uh, if we do get this in wave motion here, we have to get past this level first, which will take us to this level up here. I see that as a potential move that will bring us to 15 cents, I think. Let me see right there so this is the major target overall and let me go ahead and clone this one again boom right there so these are the two targets that I'm looking at right now one two three um, until like I said off the daily time frame until we get you uh, know underneath this cloud I'm gonna be buried I mean bullish like there's nothing but you know momentum to the upside this is just a correction in the market uh, the market always needs some type of correction to move to higher prices and if you are a trader in forex you should know that 
the market needs to do you know think of like a slingshot the more further back you pull it the further it is supposed to go right so think about the market in that type of way and then you'll see it uh you know that that momentum's going strong to the upside so just because of this here it's letting me know that market wants to push even higher we got our daily close it closed at six o'clock so it looks like price is starting to move higher as we speak so that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment and subscribe let me know your thoughts and let, stay tuned for the next peace